please help me welcome the servant of God, Prophet Christopher Yawano, bringing God's word to us. Father, we've gathered before you today, respecting you, God, who knows our heart, to minister to everybody here. We bring our offering before you from the deepest part of our heart, our seed, with joyful heart. Lord, let it be acceptable unto you, and let it bear fruit a hundredfold and a thousandfold, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're welcome to the very presence of God, and I believe that you are moving on. And today is day what? Day. How many days left? Eight days. It's good. I want you to finish hard. If you couldn't do it, you can join them. I'm finished. Amen. So, there is a song, see, any time we sit and we stand, prayer is very, very important. It's not for decoration or to decorate a meeting or to use it to wait for the minister. It is very, very important for us to understand that we are dealing with a real person, which is God. And when we come, we speak to him, and he speaks back to us. Our prayer must be responded. As we pray, God must speak back to us. So anytime you come to pray, expect God to do what? One of the psalms is the psalm, he said, oh, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Prayer is not just sitting down and making, oh Lord, you know my hand, I love you. When you are in trouble, your heart is overwhelmed, and you come to God. What you do have to do, and this world, don't say your heart is not overwhelmed. If you are in this world, the world itself is overwhelming. <laughs> oh? Every time, and as the years pass by, things become difficult and harder and overwhelming, isn't it? Oh, some of you don't feel it. When such a situation happens and you don't know what to do, he said, lead me to where? That is the prayer of that psalmist. 
the Lord from the end of the earth. I will cry to you when my heart is overwhelmed. That's where real cry comes. When you are, if somebody is in trouble and is praying, you see the difference between the one who is in trouble, who really mean business, and the one who just want to satisfy, just satisfy prayer, a Christian, uh, a Christian, you must pray. Yes, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I come out better. Let's take that song. Hear my cry, O oh Lord. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the than you and myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Last week, I was talking about overcoming, isn't it? And I started with the flesh. This flesh and this body. In fact, this body and this flesh is very important on this earth. Very, very important. And God wants it because we call us, you are the temple of the living God. 
God wants to dwell in it. Satan wants to dwell in it. In fact, the warfare on this earth is the flesh. The devil wants to have control over you, and God wants to have control over you. That's all what is happening. You remember, I think if you read the scriptures very well, there was a time that Michael, when Moses died, the angel of God and Satan were fighting over the body of Moses. Each one want to have it. The same way, because human beings have the capacity, the highest capacity to receive the spiritual well in him. You see one man who has been able to keep over 2,000 demons, a legion. A legion was able to live in a man, not one, not two, one man, have a complete legion living in him from 2,000 to maybe 3,000 to 4,000 uh, demons. No wonder nobody could chain him because what is in him has more power than natural chain. So when you put a chain, the things will break it. There are certain things we confront with our physical flesh but what is inside is stronger than the physical strength, is stronger than our mind, is stronger than other things. So that is the kind of warfare we fight. It's not the only the devil that is able to live on man. The spirit of God, when he comes upon one, a man, he's also to do and beat many things. And that is greater. If the demons could break chains, then the spirit of God, which is stronger, which is greater, which is mightier, should be able to dispel and destroy the works of the enemy. So what God needs is man. What Satan needs on earth here is man. So man is the center of the warfare. When God gets man, the whole earth rejoices. When Satan gets hold of man, this earth becomes hell. The trouble that is happening all over is either Satan is controlling somebody or God is controlling somebody. If we understand this spiritual thing, we will then learn how to fight and know our stand. I began with the flesh, isn't it? If you want to understand the flesh very well, you go to Galatians. It tells us the works of the flesh, what it does. I think we can read through. If you go home, you can read through it. Galatians 5, isn't it? Is it 5? Now the works of the flesh are evident. You can see them. They are evident. Which are what? You don't want to mention it. I know why. So adultery is the work of what? Of the flesh. 
There's a strong desire to break your mind. You don't want to even think right to go for somebody's wife. To go for somebody's husband. The flesh overcomes you. And when the flesh overcomes you, you fall into it. Some are not that people want to do it, but the flesh has taken control. So, adultery is a work of what? The flesh. So, overcoming, we need to find what can overcome the flesh. Then, second, oh, fornication. Adultery is going for somebody's wife. Fornication is sleeping with, going for somebody who, are not, who is not married. You know, yeah, the same act, but with different faces. They say, oh, for me, it's not somebody's wife. Once you haven't married a person, it's called fornication. Say, hey, this word, can we do that again? The way the world is... The Bible is saying it. He hasn't changed the standard. The world may change. They may redefine things. But to the mind of God, it's still the same. What again? You see, the place is very quiet. Because our flesh understands what I'm talking about. Uncleanliness, lewdness, I'll just rush over them. Adol adultery, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies. So anytime you're feeling jealous, it's a work of the flesh. Hallelujah. Adverse of wrath. Some people, they are, they, they find a official. Small team. Okay, quick, 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 quick. That's not what I'm going for. Selfish what? Ha! Some people, they've got ambitions, but everybody must fail except them. Everybody's church, we've even got, we even got charismatic witchcrafts. Everybody's church should go down, except his church. So when he sees that problem have come to some pastor, his members are scattering and coming to his church, he's happy. It's not of God. Dissensions, what is it? Some people, the moment they enter into a place, diamond too, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Some people, they enter into a place, division comes. They will disintegrate a group. They enter into friends. And when there's a group, they enter inside. Kai! They will split it. They have the power to split. The anointing to divide. Anointing to break friends. The front of friends, the front of a child, the front of a husband and a wife. The work of the flesh. That's the work of the flesh. Okay? Some are careers. Permanent careers. They carry news. Somebody, hey, if somebody comes to tell me something about you, I won't say anything. Because he will carry what I've said back to you. If I want to say something, I said, let me call the person, bring him. They said, this person says, that is it true? If you said, Pastor, stop, they know you are lying. Oh, 
Oh. Heresies. Envy. Have you done some before? If you say no, then you don't have a flesh. <laughs> All of us have some of this. In. Murders. The reason why people murder is the flesh. It's part of the work of the flesh. If the flesh is properly subjected, murderers will end. Under the power of the Holy Spirit. Ravelries. Drunkenness. I jumped it for you. <laughs> Drunkenness. You know that it's strange. It's very strange that the companies that sell alcohol do not use drunkards to advertise their, their product. I want to see they should tell us the outcome when you drink. Oh, you see something like that. So now when we come to the TV, I said, ah, but they are not advertising that thing. That thing they should advertise what it does. Well, they themselves know that it's not good. That the effect is no good. See, they won't bring the effect for you. What again? Rathers and the what? And the what? And what? And the what? And the what? So there are others like it. So don't say it is not written there. So after that one, I am exempted. Anything that is like this is a work of the flesh. This is what the flesh yearn. If you leave it by itself, this is what it will produce. Everyone, the flesh want to do those things. All of us here, you can match ourselves to some of those things. There is nobody here who says his is not inside, including the pastor preaching here. <laughs> All of us. So what do we do to be able to fight and stop this? Walk in the spirit, isn't it? Walking in the spirit, then you will not fulfill what? The desire of what? I say then, walk in where? And you shall not do what? Fulfill the lust, the lust, the lust of the flesh. There is no way, if you want to fight it with only your willpower, you will. The easiest way is to walk where? To walk where? Oh, I'd love to walk where? In the spirit. I want to tell you, as you walk in the spirit, keep your eyes on Jesus. Hebrews eleven twenty seven says. Let's look at the Hebrew eleven twenty seven, and Hebrew twelve two to three. By faith, he what? 
he forsook, that is Moses, he forsook Egypt. But Egypt, the position which Moses was occupying was a very prestigious position. It has a future for him. He is going to be the next pharaoh. But by faith, he forsook what? Egypt, the flesh, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as what? Seeing him who is what? Invisible. One thing you must know, you must have the consciousness all the time that the invisible God is with you. So when you are going to sleep with a woman and God is standing by, will you do that? When you're going to steal and you see God, will you steal when God is there? When you want to lie, who you know God knows everything? Will you lie when there's a light of God on you? So fixing your mind on God helps you to wear away all kind of this fleshly desire, lust. Huh? I hope you, 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 you're getting me. Also pray Psalm, Psalm 17 verse 5. Psalm 17 verse 5. Abhold my steps in your path that my footstep may not slip. The second you need to pray. We cannot overcome all this with our own self. We need the help of God. There are some temptations, there are some of these things, you enter into it, you're overwhelmed. You, you don't want to do it, but you're doing it. You know, Sometimes, after you finish, you go and cry. It's not your, what you want to do. Like Paul says, he said that, the things that I want to do, I am not able to do it. Rather the things I don't want to do. There are the things I, use, I, I do, isn't it? Is that not what Paul said? He got frustrated that I want to leave. Some of us, we started the fasting. I want to live right for God. You were praying, 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 then you fall out of his room. <laughs> Don't give up. I always say, believer, when you fall, rise up. The Christian walk is like a baby learning how to walk. You may fall, but don't remain on the ground. Take yourself up again. Some, and somebody may not hold you and say, come out. You take yourself up because you know where you're going. You know when you lie on the floor, you cannot go forward unless you get up. Go on walking. People will trip you. People will step on your toes. You will fall. Get up. Sometimes you fight. When you finish, you say, I'm not going my Christian, my Christian, listen, my Christian uh, testimony is gone. Look, forget about whoever said your Christian testimony. Put yourself together. Your testimony is first with God. Yeah. Who understands your struggles within. Oh, yes. And Paul said, the good things that I want to do, I am not able to do it. And every one of us, for the good that I will to do, Look, every human being here, if it's correct and right, want to do good. Even those who say, I'm wicked, they want to do good. But there is something within them that is resisting that goodness. And there's something within this flesh is resisting the good that you want to do. And that is where the warfare is all about. Oh, let, let, I didn't finish, I didn't finish. For the good that I want to do, 
I do not do. But the evil I will not to do, I will not to do, that is that I practice. Sometimes what you want to do, you know is good. You don't want to, you know, this, your problem is your mouth. <laughs> Anything you see, you want to take it and not even carry it out. How do we know that? Everybody likes carrying bad news. And we've created in such a way that we always want to hear bad news. If there's a good news that is published, how many of people will read it? When a bad news that is published, how many people will go to that side? A lot of us. You hear? What are the bad news? Somebody is dead. Very popular person is dead. The news will quickly spread to all over the world. Let the popular person, if he has a problem and he gets out of a sin, and say, I have repented. Few people will read it. So the flesh want to hear bad news. Who have done this? Which pastor have seen? Not the one who raised the dead. The dead, you hear that somebody have raised the dead, say, oh, yes, sir, it's fake. You hear somebody have fornicated, say, it's true. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm being real. This is, it happens to all of us. So when we get up early in the morning, you go through some papers, look at what evil has happened. When COVID came, the COVID result, uh, uh, how do you call it? Data was your Bible. You get up every day. You look at the statistic. How many people? Who, how many died? How many? Some people can have all the data. Hey, all Ghanaians, all the world, they are dying. Meanwhile, how many? What is the population of the world? Somebody, prophet, this thing. Somebody was. This is going to kill all of us. I said, not me. I said, don't panic. He said, the way he's killing people. I said, do you know how many people malaria kills? What malaria have killed in Ghana is more than what COVID have done. But nobody is talking about it because it is, malaria is not somewhere. It's only with us. Mufan Chemise Mahama. Your daily bread. Covid statistic. Every morning you see, you look at it. And the more you look at it, the more you read it. You go to all the side, read this one, and it creates pride. It says, this one, 50 million, this one, this one. And I said, look. How can we create faith if we are feeding? Yes, accept the fact that it's there. The same way I accept the fact that cancer and all the other diseases are there. But they shouldn't control me. I have the power to control it. Greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. 
Yes, we will take all the precautions. But life has not ended. The time you were afraid of the COVID, when five people had it in Ghana, now more than five people had it, you are still not afraid. Why? Mental conditions. The devil crippled the entire world. Because the entire world wants to believe any news. And that's good. If you want to overcome, fix your mind on God. Pray and ask God for help, and he will bring health to us. Then Ephesians 4, 27, learn how to resist. Resist the devil. Resist him. Resist him. I say do what? And James 4, 7. Let's read James 4, 7. Therefore, submit to who? Bring yourself under God's authority. Then resist what? The devil who tried to tempt your body. And he will do what? He will flee from you. So, I said, do what? Resist what? Resist the devil, isn't it? Then cling to the word. How can a young man move away from sin by applying himself to the word of God? How can a young man cleanse his way by taking heed according to your word. Your word will clean your path. You pray. When you are praying, say, lead me not into temptation. There's some temptation if you fall inside. It will follow you. So pray. I say, God, any temptation that if I fall in and I can't, lead me not into it. Some people say, oh, I, God, me dear, me, how do you call it? Those giant, me superman, oh, they're treasure. So when you get up, also pray that, Lord, lead me in your prayer. Ask God not to lead you into what? Temptation. Jesus said, this is one of the prayers you pray. He said, and do not lead us into where? Temptation. Temptation. And deliver us from what? The evil one. The evil one is always looking and seeking. No, the devil has a plan. When I come to him, I will tell you how his, his plan works. He, he, he doesn't attack you when you are strong. He attacks you when you are weak. He's looking for weak point in your life to hit. So once you lose God, he comes in. He said, Peter, Peter, Satan is seeking permission. He wants to sift you like wheat. This you are mouth, this you, Peter, you are nabu nabu. This your mouth. Everything is you talk, you are the Christ. The son of the living God says, hey, you've brought this secret out. That's going to destroy me. Peter. And says, Simon. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. Indeed, Satan has asked for you. Born some or your request. 
to him. He has asked for what? Sarah has asked for you that he may do what? Sift you as what? Wheat. When he finished, you can't get up again. That's how Satan wants to treat you. But thank be to God. Amen. Look at the answer Jesus gave. But I, Jesus, have prayed for you. That what? Your faith should not fail. The only way Satan can destroy you is when your faith fails. In fact, if Satan is attacking you, the first thing he's attacking is your faith. It is your faith that you need. If he makes you sick, it's not because he, 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 may, he may be able to kill you, but he wants you to lose hope and faith that this disease will kill me. I say, oh, God, she has said it. So, so shall it be. Never lose your faith. Don't let any condition, economic condition, let you lose your faith. Even if you're dying, hold on to your faith. If things are not going on well for you, hold on to your faith. If you pray and a man is not coming, hold on to your faith. Don't compromise your faith for anything. It won't be long. It will appear. He said, Jesus did not pray that Satan shouldn't come. He prayed for strong faith for Peter. Peter, once your faith is intact, we overcome him by our faith. What we use to overcome Satan is our faith. It's a faith that is a shield. It can protect you. He comes, the faith, your faith will keep him off from you. So the only or one of the few things that can stop the devil is your faith. Faith in every area stop the devil in entering into that area. Some have faith for finances. And because Satan finds it very difficult to enter into their financial life. Some have weaker faith there, but stronger faith in holiness. So Satan finds it very difficult to attack their character. Some are very strong in this area and very weak in, 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 in another area. And that every area that you are strong, Satan don't want to come against in that area. He moves to the area which you are weak. So build every area that Anytime you start falling in one area, know that I am weak in faith in that area and build your faith towards that area. Then you will be an overcomer in that area. I, I, hope, I'm, I hope I'm giving you a key. What I have heard, what I have seen, and what me myself have experienced. Is what I'm preaching to you. I think I will continue next week, isn't it? This is very, look, it's very, very vital for your life. In every area, not only as a Christian, but even in the world. And I will, as I talk, I will also be able to deal with an enemy. That is the flesh. We have your own flesh, which is an enemy. And we have an enemy within. You fear? Do you know that the enemy within is more dangerous than the enemy without? If a group will die, it's not an outward. In fact, an, when there is an outside aggressor and people are united together, it's difficult to overcome those who are united. 
no matter how strong you are, if there are enemies within, a small boy can overcome all of you. It took an enemy within to get Jesus to be crucified. The one that I eat with, the one who carries my money, because somebody who carries your money, <laughs> he plays a major, the fan, oh, no, no, he's a finance minister. For you, for you to, 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 uh, I know some of you can just take it to a certain angle. I don't want to bring it. He said, hey, the one closer to me, just by me, he is my enemy. The enemy is not far. It is just by you. Anytime some information leaks from any place, it's from within. So they will have intercepted some, 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 some information. The interception is from within. That's why I said, I don't fear Satan outside. Satan outside can never stand against the church and win. Rather, it bring the church together and bring the ability of the church. But the Satan within. Ha! The enemy within. You know who killed Cain? Uh, 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 Abel. Who? His own what? I don't know whether senior or the junior, but his own blood brother. Sometimes even your blood brothers and blood sisters. Ha! Hey! If you tell them your plans. Some of them, the moment they get to know you are making it in life, sometimes you are the one who feed them. They will bite your finger so that the finger cannot work. If I don't become, you shouldn't become. In every area, a church, even political party, they're within. It's not the outside that it's from within. They're within. So, oh, the thing, we, we get about what, the people are chopping, they're not giving us some. We'll see next time election. Within your office, within. Not someone from outside. So these are all the enemy that comes against our life. We need to use that force and wisdom to be able to navigate through this world and make it. Next week, if I can I continue? Yes. I haven't come to the devil himself. I want you to overcome. Today, I've given you some few points how to overcome it. I said, fix your eyes on who? The second, I said, do what again? Oh, resist who? And pray to God, isn't it? And hold on to the word of God, isn't it? Or you don't get your, isn't it? 
Then quickly, I want to tell because I'm not going to come back to it. Be willing to give up what you do. Sometimes we want yet do I don't know. Not that some sense we like. They are our best, uh, our, our friend. No, Pastor. I did the acquire. Yo, Vinti. Ah, I did. Somebody said, he told me, he said, hey, me, my buffoon, me, papa. Oh, bomba, catch your brother, said, he should permit me. I said, oh, it's good. God will permit you to use it against the devil, but not against Christians. I said, no, no, no. So for, I can't. Me, me, chirifun. That's not what I said. What's it? Me, me, chirifun. Me, I don't like what? I don't like nonsense. I say, you yourself, you are nonsense. <laughs> if God should treat you a nonsense man, eh, like how you, you say you don't like nonsense, God say, I don't like nonsense, will you be existing? <laughs> so, submit yourself under God. Hallelujah. So, it's good. Be able to allow that thing to live your life. Say, God, help me to, to live this thing. Sometimes you are praying, God, take away this thing, but inside you want it. <laughs> then exercise willpower with the help of the Holy Spirit. Exercise what? Look, nobody can carry you or can take your hand to steal. It is you. Nobody can carry you to your boyfriend's house to be. So that you know that night, at that time, something is telling you, go, 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 go. You know it's the flesh. And you know what is going to happen. Not that we don't know. We know. So, oh, I got, yeah, I'm a resist. Meanwhile, Umpe said, see God. <laughs> don't tempt the Lord your God. <laughs> then, fear God. The fear of God is very, very important and be afraid to disobey him. Fear God and what? Say it again. Fear God and what? The fear of God will push you away from sin. So, it's very, very important that you fear God and and also be serious in life. Eh? Be serious in what? And be sober. Sometimes when somebody falls, hey, I don't like Christians who are falling. You don't know the processes you went through. He said, even if you are correcting people, you yourself, know that your flesh and blood will. Do it soberly. Don't think that we are above temptation. When a Christian fought, the only place I see they kill their soldiers is Christians. When one falls, we'll march on that person and kill the person. Instead of helping and lifting, as we march on it, on that person, and we kill him, we are going out into the world, we want to go and buy another person. How? One minus one, zero. You've done nothing. Let's do all our best that when you don't see a brother here, a sister here, go and look for him. Even if he's falling, tell him, come with your fall.
an advice. If you sin, in case you sin, Jesus said, even the Bible said that. Don't stay at home. Don't run away from God. Come to God who have medicine, who have the pharmacist, who, who, the doctor, who can cure that sickness. So they say, oh, because I've sinned, I can't go to church. Oh, prophet, I know who see me. Come, I will see you. <laughs> you think when I'm in the house, I will see? <laughs> some of the things I see, some of you and I tell you, when I was young, can I throw a Oh, you know me, those who know me long time. Huh? But now I'm old. <laughs> so I'll come to you and whisper into your ears. Sometimes I'll call you, oh, I'm talking, uh, I, you see myself walking, walking there, I come to you. They say, oh, this is what you're doing. If we start to help you here, I help you out. I know some of you know that. We are not to destroy those things I saw. I didn't see it here. I saw it in the house. So your coming to church or staying at home does not stop God from seeing what you did. So come to church with your sins. But this place is a hospital. It's a clinic. Some are inpatient, some are outpatient. But at the end, those impatient will be discharged. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. <laughs> so I want everybody to understand everybody. It's not everybody, it's not perfect people that are in church. We are here for God to work on all of us. So if you have this understanding, you won't get offended if somebody should do something against you in this church. When he does it, either it's an half patient or impatient. So take your time. Be patient with them. Because, <laughs> amen. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. I'll leave it here. I hope you, you, you were blessed. Yes. I hope you are blessed. Yes. Yeah. So encourage ourselves. Don't condemn you. Some of we over condemn ourselves. Ah! There is no condemnation for anyone who is in Christ. If condemnation keeps on coming and coming, it's not from God. It's from Satan, the accuser of the brethren. But the price has been paid and it is finished. Of course, I'm not encouraging you to go back and be like a pig and go back into it. Ask God to help us. Amen. Can we pray briefly that God should strengthen us? God should help us. Whichever area of weakness will the enemy attack. Some of us are weakness. You know your weakness. I want you to pray for God's help in that area of weakness. That God will strengthen that area and strengthen you. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? When you are overwhelmed, cry to him. He said, hear my cry, O Lord. Attend unto my prayers. Let God hear your cry today. Call upon him. Whatsoever will hinder your blessings, the devil is bringing those things on your way to hinder your blessings. But call upon him sincerely from your heart and God will hear you. He will bring help to you. He will be your helper. The helper is here. 
the Holy Spirit is here to help us in our weakness. When we are weak, he will help us to be strong. Let the weak say, I am strong because the Lord is his strength. Our gracious Father, we lift hands unto you and we thank you for your son Jesus Christ who has given us power over sin, who overcame sin. Lord, you said when we fall, when we sin, there's somebody greater than us. If you confess our sins and we repent from it, oh Lord, you forgive us those sins. Today we start a new journey with you. Help us to walk this journey, this journey of victory over the flesh in the name of Jesus. Lord, lift your hands upon us. Send your Holy Spirit the helper to help us from our point of weakness some of us are weak in different ways. Oh Lord, help us. Where we are weak, we need your strength. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. Where we are strong, oh Lord, we still need a reinforcement of the Holy Spirit. We say, oh God, I pray and I take this opportunity to destroy every sickness and every disease in the body of any member in this church here. In the name of Jesus, we release a miracle because, Lord, whenever you forgive our sins, Lord, you also heal our diseases. You said you first forgive our sins and you heal our diseases. Lord, today I proclaim freedom as you forgive us our sin from every disease and every sickness. Be it any sickness, if any name, at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow satanic forces bow satanic forces bow satanic forces bow satanic forces bow enemies within will cause your work to be exposed enemies within will destroy your plan and your traps in the name of jesus lord i pray for each and everyone here that lord their faith will stand in every situation. Their faith will be able to stand no matter how little that faith is. Lord, let that faith stand. And Lord, this afternoon, the little faith will move mountains in their life. The little faith will destroy the works of the enemy in their life. The little faith will open heaven doors unto them. The little faith will cause them to rise up to fulfill even their destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you.